In this uh, section, we're going to show you how to use the restaurant module of Crossover Manager. Just click on the restaurant option, put in your credentials with the outlet uh, module, put in the password, click on login, and then we can start with the setting part. First, we start with store setup and we set up the outlet. Outlet is the physical location of the uh, options and you can click on the new to add new one, click on edit to edit that one and delete to delete that location. After that, you select the outlet type and the same procedure for new edit and delete. Click on new and here you can see how to add the information and you have to add all this information one by one so that you won't be on basic setting. First of all, we start with shift setting. In shift setting, uh, there are shifts like day shift, night shift, evening shift, whatever shift you have in your office. You can also have the opening time and closing time of the shift and click on this button to save those shifts. Now, we go to the currency setting. In that currency setting, you can have the currency that you want to use in the billing section. You can also have the bank's information, credit card information. And you, in that credit card information, you can have different cards. And you can also have the creditors. Let's say if there is company or party what we you are seeing on the video right now is the bills that's the notes or amounts that you'll be receiving as uh, money or as cash in your uh, billing module or in your billing section of the restaurant I'm just uh, we are just trying to put in the information for the credit section you can have the credit company and uh, the person who is related to that company and this is for the clients that uh, will be visiting in your restaurant. And you can also create the ledger by clicking on the option that you saw right over there. And uh, as I said, this is the person who will be linked to that particular company. Click on OK to save the options uh, once you have totally filled in the information. Now we're going to add the serving units. The serving units are the units that will be used to serve the quantity or to serve the orders in your restaurant. This is the table setting. In the table setting, uh, we add tables to the physical location that we have previously created. Here is an example uh, of, of adding four tables. You can see the tables that are already created earlier and uh, the options to create the new tables are just there. Now we're in the employee setting. In employee setting you can have the new roles by clicking on new, edit the roles or you can also delete those roles and if the persons are there you cannot delete the roles. And these are the status, manager or accountant or whatever you want. You want to also have them and this is the details of that particular employee that will be in the software. You can also add new one by using this window and uh, you can see this information that's already created. You can click on new to add new settings, tax and discounts, and you can click on edit and delete to edit or delete those settings. When you click on menu setting, you can add and you can add the categories of those menus from this window. Just click on add category to add new categories. After you add the new category, by clicking on add, you can add the new products on that category so that you can serve them with the desired quantity and the desired unit that you want. Just uh, type on the name and uh, select select the unit to so that that unit will be served for that quantity and you can have different settings or different prices for the for room and for the POS you can see restaurant operation at the top module of the window uh, after you click on restaurant operation you can see the POS of the restaurant there you can see the inside outside bars and room service these are the different places where you can serve the foods you can also uh, add the tables on there. If you click on the guest, which is over there, uh, the guest will be shown. When you click on the tables, you have to enter the KOT with uh, the credentials that are given on the on the screen and also the KOT number. After that, you can add the products on that particular KOT for that particular table and you can have the quantity that should be delivered to that particular table. Once you click on finish and print, you can see that the table is occupied and then you can proceed towards the billing section. In the billing section, you can add the amounts that should be added on that particular bill, like the bats or if you are giving discounts, you can also have those discounts given. You can also print the guest name by typing in the name of the guest uh, toward of that particular bill and click on print option to print it. You can also have the setting either to go to the 
direct printing option or go to the print preview option. You can select pay by cash, pay by check, pay by card and uh, if you want to add the amount to the any credit account you can also do that by the options that you can see on the screen. You can see the sales report for today and you can also see the KOT and beauty report that are printed or that are let's say ordered today. You can also see the guest meal or let's say the meal plan that is delivered to a particular guest who is staying on your hotel under th that particular meal plan and if the the table is green then it, it is already delivered. I hope this video was useful. If you have any other further questions or if you don't understand anything in the video, just send us an email and we'll be happy to help you. And you can also contact us by the, in the contact details that you can see below. Thank you.